we are going to liquid cool all five of our editing workstations together. So those are like Core i7 6 cores and GTX Titans. Then we're gonna take that water, we're gonna take it out of the building, and then we're gonna put that on a massive radiator. So we're actually taking all that heat and dissipating it outside, causing not only our systems to run cooler, but also our room in which we do our work to be cooler. You gotta build things. All right, build things. Uh, you might want to start on... A new case. Uh, yeah. Is this one all secured, I guess? Um, I don't... Somewhere outside. I don't know if they're outside or inside. I'm assuming. I know that at least, I see four of them. <clears throat> so there's one more somewhere. It's not in that box. So. Yes, I realized I was using pliers rather than a wrench to tighten the fittings onto the radiators. That's what happens when Linus decides that one wrench is sufficient for the seven people working on a project. Some sacrifices okay, have to be made. Okay, that seems fine. We'll probably have to use some extensions to get all yeah. of these to where they need to go, but we have those, okay. so that's not a big deal. Um, and that's gonna push through. Yeah, and then once you get all of these mounted, I might send you and David on a on a field trip to Home Depot to figure to out figure out how. Like you might even have to do it there, and just get everything mounted onto something onto something that we can put up there that'll be strong enough. Okay. And just here, if we have to sacrifice airflow to the top fan to put four screws into it or, or, or something, then that's what we have to do. We're realizing now that our idea for hanging the radiators might not work. We'll see what happens. I also have no idea how we're gonna get a ladder here. Does Home Depot deliver if you buy things? Maybe. We could just buy a ladder and then have them deliver it. Okay. Possibly. Okay. Either way, we should make that happen pretty soon. A ladder? Yeah. Yeah. I can give you that, like, you said, that was cool. So we also need the, uh, metal strips. And then the tubing will run from the window up here, down to here. All right. Were you planning to take someone with you, or do you still need to? Uh, I don't know. Let me look at it in a sec. Sure. Oh, uh, radiators. Yeah, I was just doing the exiting for the camera. Oh, I, wasn't actually oh, I thought you were leaving. No. Okay. Component selection was something that was really important for us. These are the workstations that we're gonna be using to do the vast majority of our work. So they need to be really fast and they need to be extremely reliable. So most of the systems are running the same configuration. So they're gonna have Core i7 4960X six core processors and the, I don't know, we may do a little bit of overclocking, we'll see, it won't be much. They're all gonna be running on a SUS X79 Deluxe motherboards. That's a motherboard that we're particularly fond of because it's the one that's been on our graphics test bench since its release. And it's been extremely reliable there. They are all gonna be running 32 gigs of Kingston memory. Just, you know, nothing super fancy and really fast or anything, but just nice, reliable DDR3 memory. 
and they're all gonna be running, and this is where things start to get really interesting, NVIDIA GTX Titan Black Editions. Now, I had originally reached out to NVIDIA to get GTX 780s because SwiftTech was our water cooling provider and their only full cover water block from this generation supports the 780, the 780 Ti, the Titan and the Titan Black on the reference PCB. And Nvidia kind of went, well, you know, don't you guys need double precision and all that video memory? So they ended up sending over Titan Blacks. Uh, fortunately, because I had already asked for the power supplies from Cooler Master at that point, the V750 modular power supplies that they're sending over are 80 plus gold, and 750 watts is plenty for a 6 core and a Titan Black. You don't actually want to go that overkill, because if you do, you can actually lose some of the efficiency that you're trying to gain by going with a highly efficient power supply. For the cases, we went with Cooler Master N600s. Luke and I actually spent a fair bit of time figuring out a case that was compact, lightweight enough, professional enough looking that it wouldn't look out of place in an office, and yet capable of holding the enthusiast grade hardware we needed, and most importantly, was able to mount the reservoir radiator combo unit on the top that we wanted from SwiftTech so that we could have one fewer component inside each of the individual system water cooling loops for when we wanted to disconnect from the main loop and run the systems on their own. We went with 4960Xs for our workstations because when it comes to video encoding, video rendering, more cores really does make a difference. These aren't gaming rigs, these are meant for serious work and having the extra cores is gonna really help people get their jobs done more efficiently, which is very important to me. We went with Kingston for the memory just because, well, it all comes down to your personal experience and none of us has ever had a bad experience with Kingston memory. So we reached out to them to sponsor the project and they actually agreed to chip in not only 32 gigs of RAM per system, but also boot SSDs. So we've got 240 gig boot SSDs and they also chipped in 64 gigs of HyperX memory for Edsel's system because he apparently thinks that he actually needs 64 gigs of RAM. The PC building process was actually kind of fun. It takes me back. I haven't done a project this big in a long time. And you know, the camaraderie and the pizza and Subway and all that good stuff that's all part of that team building experience I thought was, uh, was pretty entertaining. One thing that was a bit of a challenge for me is that I ended up doing the finishing touches on most of the systems because I water cooled the internals of all five of them. I was expecting to have some help, but Luke ended up doing a lot of benchmarking on an Intel CPU launch rather than helping me build systems. So I had to do uh, all the, the finishing moves myself when we finally took all the systems over to a table, plugged them into a keyboard and mouse and had 30 seconds or so to make sure that they post because they didn't have any water in them, it was a huge relief for me when each one of them powered on and uh, displayed that, you know, all the RAM was detected and all that good stuff. I love the wall decals. I think they're absolutely amazing. I'm extremely pleased with them. Um, in spite of our best efforts to measure them out and put them exactly centered, I'm pretty sure the WAN Stealth one is about three inches off center, but uh, doesn't really matter. The point is, I think they look great. They were quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. I know how big three feet is, but I never actually held a tape measure up to the wall and kind of went, yeah, we're gonna put this one here and this one there because we didn't have the copper piping on the wall yet. So I didn't really know exactly where the drops were gonna come down or anything like that. I left that up to Luke's dad. So they're a little big, but they're super cool. I think the funniest thing about the decal process was that it apparently takes three people to apply one wall decal. They came with two different application methods. One was with a, a front paper piece. So you just take the whole thing, put it on, and then kind of peel that off and the spacing's all right. And that one was easy. But the other one didn't come with a front piece because it was just a single decal. And that one, that one was a, a three-man job. If you can support the sticker, or actually here, if I support the sticker, can you go across? Come on. Ooh. Ah, okay. In that case, um, we're gonna capture this moment and then take it away. You can take a look. Take it and go. Nick also does not use drills very often and first was screwing things backwards, so that was difficult. 
Aside from the things David told me, which I wasn't even aware of, Nick had additional challenges with the drill. He was using a masonry drill bit the first time that I saw him using it, and I corrected that. Little embarrassing to realize I was using the wrong one, but you know, I was, I was actually pretty out of my element on this project. I don't have much experience with building anything, so I think it was just part of the learning process, and uh, <laughs> luckily we got it fixed at the end of the day. Now the original plan for the radiators on the window was I think three or four triple rads. So we were gonna have a total of nine to 12 fans and it wasn't gonna be that heavy. So the idea was to hang it from the fascia board, but we got all the rads and fans assembled and realized that once we filled that with water, there was no way that was gonna hang from the fascia board. We came up with a new plan and it was you know, three trips to Home Depot later, including one trip where we had to try to buy a ladder, which was a challenge because they wouldn't let us even try to put it into the rental van. And instead we had to pay some guy in the parking lot to let us just kind of put it in the back of his truck and bring it to the, uh, to the office for us. But uh, I think the plan we've got now is gonna work. With all of the radiators mounted to the frame, uh, we did a leak test on it and none of them are leaking. I am a little bit worried about the head pressure of the pump. I had thought, and it was a long time since I've used that pump, I thought it had over 20 feet of head pressure. It looks like it's 12. So I'm really uncertain about whether it's gonna be strong enough and I wonder if we are going to need an additional pump. Little air bubbles. Yeah. There goes the water. Run on the as fast as a that is an ass ton of water. So now we want to come over here and inspect the fittings for leaks. From December 13th to 20th, 2014, you can save on select Intel CPUs, NUCs, and SSDs with special holiday rebates from select retailers. Click now to learn more. Oh my god, okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> 